Hey guys, Gonzo. Been a while since I made a video. Uh, probably three weeks um, since I caught that cat. And uh, I had another video in the process and somehow exchanging chips between my kids' basketball games and the trapping video. I raced one or eight. I did something with it anyways. I, I don't have it. So apparently I raced it. There wasn't much on there. There was just some sets. There was five weasel catches and that was it. Uh, I threw the towel in. I, I've got one trap left out there right now. One cat set where uh, I got pictures of a big cat last uh, January and February. So I'm hoping he'll come back. I've got four or five bait uh, stations out. I've got tracks around but nothing will hit the baits. I mean, I can see them, they come, you know, within 20, 30 yards, wolf tracks, coyote tracks, and I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have the stuff wired to trees. You know, there's no cubbies around them. It's just like in the open where there's a tree. Uh, maybe they can't smell it. Uh, it's been so cold out there this past week. Uh, I know one night we had 31 blow. Uh, on average, it's anywhere from 15 to 25 blow every night with the wind chill. It's... 35, 45 below and stuff. So, uh, RJ, I know what you're dealing with on a daily basis. You know, if it's been getting warm around here, it's zero degrees. Um, I, I'm, I'm tired of it. Uh, I love the winter. I love living here in Michigan where I'm at and stuff. But I think winter came a little bit too early this year, and it uh, it rained a lot. You know, during water season and during uh, my canine season and stuff and. I really didn't do well, you know, I caught one coyote that I released, um, i make sets and they just turn into mud. Make sets, remake them and they turn into mud again, you know, day after day. Uh, so um, I sold my furs uh, probably three weeks ago and um, that wasn't, I, I didn't do very well on them either. I thought I would have did a lot better and there was a record number of people at the fur truck, um, like 48 people sold furs up from 18 last year and uh, I was watching fur come out of that truck window steady I mean people didn't want to sell the rats you know they were offering two dollars a rat uh, I was watching people you know some coyotes that were being taken back they were all they were rubbed real bad or they had some mange on them and stuff but um, I seen uh, a, a lot of uh, pine martens this year unbelievable a record number of pine martens there I mean you know I've seen a few before but I suppose with 48 people, you're going to see more. But I bet I've seen at least 20 pine martens being sold over there, which was pretty neat. Um, my otters, uh, I had three that were jumbo. I mean, extra double, extra larges. I got 65 bucks a piece for them. I wasn't too happy about it. But, you know, like I said, I, I'm a happy, I'm, I'm a hobby trapper. I just want to, uh, I made my gas money back this year, I, I guess is what I did. And I had a lot of fun while I was doing it. So, uh, my... You know, my season wasn't a total loss. Uh, you know, I caught a bobcat. Me and my son caught five otters. I probably caught 12 to 14 coons. Uh, he skinned one after that. He didn't want nothing to do with them anymore, so I released the rest of them. Um, I got 27 weasels, six, six muskrats, six beavers, uh, a mink. Those two turtles caught a duck. I mean, it, it was a fun year, anyways. You know, I mean, there was always something different going on. You know, uh, I had a lot of time off during trapping season to spend out in the woods and stuff. So I really enjoyed it. But uh, I, like I said, I, I'm pretty much I'm throwing the towel in. I got some baits out there. Hopefully, they can uh, start getting hit because Ray from Wild Wilderness, uh, um, he uh, he gave me some uh, good pointers on snaring, and I, I'm going to go out there and I, I'm going to try running a few snares and stuff and then uh, another one of my buddies he sent me some snares and stuff so I've, I've got some snares to try out um, I appreciate all the Christmas cards that I got from everybody uh, I cards coming in every day and stuff uh, that was really awesome um, I'm gonna try and get out and do some ice fishing here as soon as I, I want to get out today but with the weather it's 18 below outside right now Actually, it might have warmed up to 10 below or something, but two hours ago it was 18. So uh, that uh, that's not going to happen today. Maybe next weekend. I'm at, actually, I'm on my long weekend next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And I took a vacation day for Thursday. So maybe I can get out uh, once or twice for sure and uh, get an ice fishing video made. 
catch some pike and bass and stuff and uh, post one on the channel. Um, I got some more flags uh, that I want to show you guys and a few guys just I got emails today that sent some more flags out and stuff. The trapping shed once I get all the flags up in there and everything it's going to look pretty damn sweet. You know I, I'm not going to give you guys a shot of that until I get it cleaned up and get all the flags uh, hung and recognize everybody for sending the flags and give them shout outs and stuff so I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to put a description um, in this video. Uh, guys, check out Ruben. Ruben uh, Galaxon, I think his name is. I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce the last name, but I'll put it in the description. Uh, check Ruben out. Give him a sub and stuff. Uh, he's one of our uh, newer brothers that I've just found his channel. He found mine, and uh, he does a lot of martin trapping and stuff. Took a, he got a pretty wicked shiner here a couple weeks ago. He got hit in the eye with a stick and stuff. Oh, looks like that hurt. But uh, I'm going to give you guys a shot of the flags here. Uh, quick channel update. I got, I got a lot of good uh, things planned coming up starting in the spring and summer, some series and stuff. So just bear with me the rest of the winter. Uh, we'll make some ice fishing videos. Um, maybe I can uh, uh, get out to an ice fishing tournament or something and and get a video posted of that, you know, some catches from uh, myself or some other guys or something, um, and show you guys like some some fish that were caught during the contest and stuff that uh, claimed some prizes. So uh, until uh, until next time, I'll give you a shot of the flags. Uh, anybody out there uh, willing to add a flag to my trap and shed? Uh, I'd be more than willing to have it if you want to sign it, autograph it, and send it. Um, I can always uh, give you my address. So. I thank, thank everybody for all the support and stuff. I uh, hope everybody had a good Christmas, Happy New Year's. And until uh, the next video, peace, Chucky. Oh, at the end of this uh, video, you'll see a couple small trapping clips that I did, too. No catches, though. That one's from the NS Trapper Hunter. That's Barry. Thanks, Barry. That's a, that's a big flag. That's going to be awesome. Then I got another one from Jesse Martin in Wisconsin there. And then right down there, give you guys a shot close up. I got four pins from uh, four pins from Rodney, and I got some stuff from uh, who the heck did I? I got some keychains from uh, one of my other buddies. I got them on my keys. I showed you guys that in another video and stuff. Like I said, uh, give you guys a shot of the cards real quick. Lots of cards, you know, some of you guys, I don't, if you're watching this, you, got, you might be able to recognize your card that you sent me and stuff. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for all your support, guys. Happy New Year. Peace out. Hey, guys, Gonzo here. Uh, let me turn this around. Um, give you a little update on my trap. It's been going horse shit. I, um, I had a video made. And I've got two different chips, and I've been recording my kit on one chip, and I switch the chips all the time. Where uh, I got a basketball game on one, and then I got to take the chip out, and then I got to put a um, put my other chip in there, which uh, I was doing all my trapping on. And I had a decent video going; it was nothing great. It had like five weasel catches on it, a couple rabbit catches. I was showing a bunch of wolf tracks and stuff, and. Uh, Lots of wolves around now, but hopefully we can trap them next year here. We've got 21 wolves, quota was 43, 21 that were shot. Trapping, we would have, if we trapped wolves, we'd have limited out the first week, if not quicker than that. Um, there was actually a, a cougar in Michigan, somebody had on the, their game camera, and then a couple days later it was poached by a couple guys. They ended up getting caught. So they're going to pay the piper on that one. Um, I got eight cat sets out left, and I'm going to I'm going to pull four of them today. I'm going to take my baits, and I've got one bait out, and I've got four other sets. And I'm going to just I'm going to go hang. I'm going to have one cat line right now. I've got two cat lines, and I'm just going to make one instead of putting 40 miles on a day. It's just going to be about 20, 25 checking my sets and stuff and this uh the baits i'll check maybe once a week and i know once a bait gets hit because i've did it before um 
cats are easy to catch because once they find the bait, they're they're done. They're there. They'll live there. They'll sleep in front of it. I've got thousands of pictures last year on a couple of different baits. So that's what we're gonna try. So sorry, I got nothing to show you right now. Maybe a little bit later on. Uh, maybe later on today when I'm checking my traps and pulling a few. Maybe I'll have a catch or something. Uh, trap, trap and fishers and pine martin this year went horse shit. I seen some tracks earlier during the year from Fishers and Pine Martins. <clears throat> I said for them, didn't catch anything. And I had one Pine Martin messing around the trap, and I didn't catch him either. But uh, I've talked to some guys online, uh, YouTube, and I got the bait for next year. I'm pretty sure I do anyways, where what I'm using, it just, when it freezes, it's rock solid. I know one thing, when I use my beavers and muskrats next year, I'm gonna try, uh, salt in my bait first before I use it. it keeps it softer, doesn't freeze hard as a rock and uh, it'll let the bait, the smell get out there a little bit better. And I'm gonna try using some, uh, just some different stuff, experiment with some different lures and stuff. Uh, I sold my furs two Wednesdays ago and last year there was 18 people at the fur truck, this year there was 48 total when it was done. And there was a lot of fur. Uh, fur prices were way down. There was people, uh, uh, I sell the Grunwald, and they were people just taking their fur back and stuff. I guess it has something to do with the Chinese and a couple warehouses across seas got, I don't know if they got busted with uh, untagged furs or what happened, but prices are down 30%. At least here they were. I mean, they were giving people $2 for a muskrat. I only had six rats that I sold. I got five bucks for two, nine bucks for two, and thirteen dollars for two. That was weird, really, really weird. Uh, I got seventy-five bucks for my bobcat. It's a nice big cat, but just the uh, color in the spots here in Michigan just aren't aren't all that great. I'm sure I'd do a lot better if I sold my fur in the auctions and stuff, but uh, <clears throat> I don't. I like I said, I've told you guys before. I'm just. Uh, me and my son are hobby trappers. You know, we do it, we have fun. Hopefully we pay for the gas and make a few extra bucks and uh, it's, it is what it is. So fur prices were down, messed up my video. Uh, I guess maybe I should put a little piece of tape or marking on the chip so I don't do that again. It was only five weasels anyways. But, um, I got 27 total weasels for the year. <clears throat> I got $2 a weasel. Maybe I'll trap a few more coons next year. I sold one coon, the rest I let go this year. I, I didn't even want to mess with them. My kids skinned one out, put three holes in the belly, and they still gave us 22 bucks. So as much as I hate to mess with the big, fat, greasy bastards, uh, maybe that's what maybe that's what I'll do. Trap something out. Anyways, hopefully I can bring you guys something later on. I hope everybody had a happy or uh, Merry New Year's. Merry Christmas and everybody's gonna have, have a happy New Year's and stuff. So until uh, later on, peace, Chucky. Hey guys, it's Gonzo. December 30th. Give you a little shot. It's minus 22 right now. I don't know if you guys could see that. Huh. Minus 22. Uh, I'm gonna go out and pull my traps. All I'm going to do is just uh, leave baits out. Um, probably leave. I got two good baits going right now. Nothing's hitting them, but lots of bait there. I got a bunch of bait in the back of the truck, so I'm going to make four baits. Check them once a week. Something starts hitting them, then I'm going to start. I'll throw some steel down again, but it just rained a bunch again the other night. I mean, if you can look at our roads right now, it's just the glare ice, you know, it's just horrible. They called uh, for a wintry mix. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I laid down, I went to bed, I woke up and it rained out. Rain, rain, rain. It's been bad. Hard crust on top, the snow again and stuff. So what I'm gonna do uh, in this video, if I don't have a catch today, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna talk to you guys and I'm gonna tell you how my trapping season went and what I caught and stuff. And that'll kind of be a wrap up. You know, hopefully I can get some snares out of the stuff, you know, get some animals. 
come into these baits and stuff and we'll go from there. Peace, Chucky.